Good morning to all you Tony Bones and Jimmy Pings. Andy here for What Culture Wrestling. And today's news update isn't going to be all that heartening for those of you who might be big fans of the European and British indie scenes. But first, let's start things off with a little WWE and specifically Braun Strowman. So the monster among men was taken out by Monday Night Raw's goon squad just last week with Baron Corbin and company viciously going after the man's elbow and putting him on the shelf. On the surface level, it looked like a mere angle to keep Strowman and Corbin apart ahead of their upcoming match at the TLC pay-per-view in December, but as reported by Pro Wrestling Sheet just a few days later, that injury was confirmed as legitimate. Now, obviously Strowman wasn't injured because he was beaten up on TV by Baron Corbin. No, this was an existing problem and it was re-aggravated at Survivor Series. He's got some nasty, nasty bone spurs in that elbow and he now has to go under the knife. We heard from Strowman on last night's Raw with Braun stating that his doctor had never seen an injury that bad nor had he ever seen an arm that big. Obviously, that doctor has never met what cultures James Hunt because ugh, large arm. Anyway, there's now speculation that he might even miss the TLC pay-per-view itself. Braun Strowman, that is not James Hunt. Corbin and Strowman are currently set to face each other at TLC, but the three to four week recovery time now looks a little bit ambitious and Braun may need to wait before getting revenge on the general manager elect. This is a shame because it always sucks to see a popular star like Braun on the sidelines, but let's hope for a speedy recovery and that the speculation is just that speculation. So let's dive over to Europe then and it seems that WWE have signed one of the biggest names in independent wrestling today, Walter. This has been confirmed by PW Insider who spoke to multiple sources on the matter though it's no real surprise Dave Meltzer has been reporting on this for months so score another one in the win column for Shagger Dave. Apparently Walter will wrap up all existing independent dates before exclusively working for WWE's European expansion which does mean NXT UK and a smattering of selected partner promotions. The big man is most prominent in the UK's progress wrestling and for Germany's WXW. Now, given that these promotions do have working relationships with WWE, that's probably not going to change, but his schedule, particularly in America, will become a little less busy. Still, it'll be a heavy, heavy loss for the independent scene, as Walter had become the independent wrestler following the likes of Matt Riddle and Ricochet departing the scene. It's a shame in that regard, but, you know, best of luck to him. And to wrap this one up with a nice little bow tie, it seems that things are about to get very, very tight on that nice little European indie scene because WWE's new UK contracts are, well, they're pretty bloody restrictive. According to WrestleTalk and their sources, WWE have updated their contracts with a number of key UK performers and they now restrict said performers from working for any any non-partner promotions. And per PW Insider, this means that the wrestlers who've agreed to these new contract terms are now restricted to only working for WWE, of course, Progress, ICW, WXW, who they recently entered a working relationship with, Fight Club Pro, who are owned and operated by Trent Seven, Attack Pro, which is Pete Dunne's little promotion, OTT in Ireland, and Future Shock. On top of all this, these performers are now completely forbidden from working against wrestlers who are under contract with Impact, Ring of Honor, New Japan, or most critically for the UK scene, World of Sport. Now, given the sheer volume of wrestlers that work for World of Sport, that greatly, greatly reduces the amount of people they can actually face in the UK, so... Yeah, that's, that's kind of a stranglehold, isn't it? Now, not everyone has signed these deals and those that have are being compensated with a pay rise, but it's just another cause for concern for what used to be a red hot independent scene. Unfortunately, this does hark back to the old territorial days when Vince McMahon would put one arm over promoters' shoulders, promising them a bigger platform, buying out their tape libraries, putting them on all American wrestling, and then stabbing them in the back with the other arm, putting them out of business. Now, of course, we're not saying that's definitely what's gonna happen in the UK. It's a little bit too early to tell, but the signs are all there. But anyway, guys, go ahead and let us know what you think. What do you think this means for the UK independent scene and Europe as a whole? And let us know what you think of Walter and how he'll fare in WWE. He's great on the indies, but does he have what it takes to succeed for the biggest company in the game? And then finally, of course, let's talk about Braun Strowman. When do you want to see him back? And do you really want to see him wrestle Baron Bloody Corbin of all people? It might be fun, I guess. 
And once you've done that, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And once you've done that, take yourselves over to whatculture.com forward slash WWE and check out all manner of great articles from the likes of my countryman, Jamie Kennedy, the smartest man alive, Benjamin Richardson, the oldest man alive, Michael Hamflet, and the wizard, Michael Sidgwick. You'll have a great time. I've been Andy and I'll see you later.